Lesson 118 is on finding percents. Now I'm going to do these problems a little bit different than they do in the book. I think my way will make a little bit more sense to you than the method in the book. Before we get started with this practice problem, you might want to review lesson 112 and remember what we did there. We were finding a given percent of a number. So here we're finding a percent. Lesson 112, we were given a percent. Remember, we might have had like 30% of 15, and we use that word of to help us recognize multiplication. Let's do the same thing here, and something else about these problems. The word is, that indicates an equal sign. So let's just look at this problem that we have here. 3 is what percent of 9, and let's write it as an equation. 3 equals what percent? That's what we don't know. So let's just put a letter there to indicate that value. We'll just say P times 9. Because of, that indicates multiplication. 3 equals P times 9. Now we have a problem like a missing value problem, and we know what to do here. We just divide that answer, the product, by that one factor that's known. And so we have 3 over 9. And then we know we're doing percent here, so we have to multiply that by 100%. Multiply that ratio by 100%. Think about 3 over 9. You know that that's the same thing as 1 over 3. So we could just rewrite this 100 over 3. And let's do division on that. 3 goes into 10 three times. Bring 10 down. 3 goes into that 10 three times. And we have a remainder of 1 or 1 third. And so our answer is 33 and 1 third percent. Okay. Let's try another one. Since all these are dealing with what percent, I just abbreviated that with WP. 4 is what percent of 16? Okay, so let's just write this down. 4 equals what percent? We'll just say P times 16. Now we know what to do here. It's a missing value type of problem. So we just say 4 over 16. That's the same thing as 1 fourth. We multiply that answer times 100%. And then we'll have 100 over 4. And 4 is a common factor there. 100 over 4 is just equal to 25%. So 4 is 25%. It's 1 fourth of 16. Let's do one more. Practice problem C. 2 is what percent of 10? So maybe you can already do this in your, se your head. You can think, oh, 2 over 10, that would be 20%. Let's just go ahead and write the formula out. 2 equals percent, that's our unknown value that we're trying to find is the percent times 10. Okay, so to find that P, we just say P is equal to that product of 2 divided by 10. Now, we could multiply this by 100 or we could just see if we multiply the top and the bottom by 10, we'd get our percent format, format right? We'd have 20 over 100. 20 per 100 is the same thing as saying 20%. Remember that percent symbol is just a simplified way of writing over 100. So that one we didn't multiply by 100% because we could see there that we already knew that 2 over 10 was just going to be 20 over 100 or 20%. That was a fairly easy one to recognize. So when you see these problems where you're finding the percent, Look for keywords. Is means equals. Of means multiplication in these kinds of problems. And just go ahead and rewrite it as a problem, like a missing number problem. Solve for that missing number. And remember, you're trying to find a percent. So you have to multiply that answer by 100%. Either that or, like on problem C there, you need to change that fraction so that the denominator is equal to 100 and then your numerator gives you the percentage. 
Okay, well that's all for lesson 118.